From robot swarms to firearms, in our News 9 Plus special show, Guns of India, we compared two battle rifles, the indigenous Ugram rifle made by the DRDO and the US-made SIG 716 used by the Indian Army. My colleague Deepak Badana produced this show. He's right here in the studio with me. But first, let's catch an excerpt of episode 3 of season 2, Guns of India, dropping on the News 9 Plus app. The Indian Armed Forces have embarked on what is possibly the world's biggest modernization drive. The two contenders vie to fill India's need for a modern battle rifle. The SIG 716i, made by US gunmaker Sigsaur, and India's own indigenously designed and developed Ugram rifle. Both rifles represent different paths to modernizing India's small arms each with distinct origins and advantages. So, what's the better fit? Which is the ultimate gun for India? Deepak, Ugram vs. SIG 716, noisy battle rifles, uh, big, big guns uh, rolled out for the Indian Army. It's quite an exciting time to be in the Indian small arms sector. I yes. mean, this is burgeoning with a range of different companies. Private sector is going all out. Right. And today, we're actually producing some of the finest small arms in the world. Interesting. Con you know, compared to, say, 10 years back, we were, we were just importing, importing, importing. And today, you have these two uh, rifles, actually just one of them. Uh, that's made in India by the DRDO and the other one of course is the uh, SIG that's imported from the United States and uh, it's very interesting uh, Deepak we were talking about the SIG and where it's manufactured it's made in New Hampshire a very critical state in the US elections and this deal seems to have been announced just before the uh, US elections but there's a, another spin on this uh, we were under the impression that the SIG was going to be imported the 72,000 SIG rifles were going to be imported, but now it appears that a certain quantity of them would be made in India as well. So initially the first order was for some 72,500 rifles. Right. Most of them were going to the Northern Command, but then this year an additional order of 73,000 rifles was placed. Now, uh, I don't know what happened, uh, There was there's obviously some things that we are still to understand, right. uh, but SIG has announced a partnership with the Naibe Group. Uh, it's uh, Nibay Pune Group, yeah, Nibay Group uh, the Pune-based uh, company. Yeah. Yes. So it's a Pune-based company, and there are plans to manufacture the 73,000 rifles inside India. Right. And these rifles, uh, you know, the parts for them, and in fact, SIG has also stated that India will become a regional hub. Uh, right. So in the future, you know, beyond this 73,000 rifles you may also see more rifles which are being produced here for the yes. rest of the world. Right, absolutely. More, more uh, rifles to be produced in India, but mm -hmm. uh, Deepak, at the end of the day, uh, you know, nothing works like an indigenous firearm. True. Which is True. the Ugram, which unfortunately hasn't got the kind of uh, uh, attention that it deserves. And we tried both rifles out uh, on the range in Pune, and uh, I, I personally fired them, which is part of the show, uh, Guns of India. And I found the Ugram to be a very, very good product, very finely uh, developed, very uh, robustly designed uh, product. And, uh, you know, given the fact that the INSAS designed by the DRDO has met with so much of uh, resistance, it's become a buzzword for what could have been but wasn't realized. And the Ugram seems to have, uh, you know, uh, overcome many of those uh, design flaws, uh, Deepak. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, I'd like to take you back to a conversation that we had at DRDO with uh, Mr. Prasad, yes. uh, who's heading the whole ARD program over the, there. The, one of the last designers of the Ugram. Yeah, he's one of the services. original, the last Insas of the original designers. team yes. uh, that created the INSAS. Yes. And if you hear his account, he actually talks about all the problems that happened. Right. So he talked about how the first five, seven years, ten years yes. were the years where we faced teething problems. And it's yes. very natural. Right. That is the first, you know, major battle rifle produced in India. Yes. And uh, there were some teething issues. But Mr. Prasad did point out something. You didn't really hear about all of these issues, yes. you know, the small niggles, after the year 2014. Yes. So and they had more, more, more or less ironed out all those issues. So while we had yes. problems for, say, 10 years, yes. 
the another 10 years we've had no problems at all possibly and the design stabilized but you know that more of uh, that on our uh, special show that's dropping on the news 9 plus app that's uh, guns of india season 2 the ugram versus the 6716 download the app and watch